coming nice out, but as I say, one more coat and it'll all cover. Mm. A little bit of a morning burp coming. Just waiting for it. evaporates quicker than water so if this sits around for much longer you don't see it evaporating then you know that there might have been some water in there and it also sinks to the bottom in this case fuels clean evaporating nice and quickly so we are good to go good morning nice little uh, airfield ambience this morning planes behind you planes behind me uh, we're just about to get going get out of here we all kind of feel like I'm sure there's many of us that feel like we grew up in the best possible area we ever could but I I truly feel that way we're in Neisner uh, just north of it now in a little farm area. Um, this is where our little strip is for those of you that haven't seen any of my aviation content. Um, so very much down south uh, of South Africa, four hours from Cape Town, um, about three or four hours from Port Elizabeth, two main cities and we're in this small little town here. But the diversity that we have, um, particularly from an aircraft, is incredible. We have mountain flying behind us at mountains that are sitting at like 3,800 just to clear it at minimum, otherwise sitting at four and a half thousand plus on some of them. Um, and then we go 15 minute flight and we're low level along the coast um, in some uninterrupted territories with nobody walking on the beach. We've got airstrips uh, 30 minutes from here, airstrips on little islands. Um, we've got, it, it's nuts. Um, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in the air. We're gonna do a little bit of like a, an overview round robin of this area. Um, maybe try and get you over the mountains if it's nice and stable and then down to the beach. And just show you what we can achieve with a few little cameras and show you these visuals of the beautiful town where we're flying here. The guys are getting up, let's get going. Fuel is on, fuel is on, fuel is on. Master on, one mag on. We're gonna pull back for idle. Pull a little uh, choke. And we're gonna say clear prop. We're just waiting, uh, waiting on oil temperatures. We set the airfield elevation to a QNH of 1015 for an airfield elevation of 850 foot above mean sea level. Oil temps are sitting at 22. We need to wait to 30 degrees before we can go above 2500 RPM. Our oil pressures are already all good. Fuel we've added, I can top this up 0046 liters, so just, just under half tanks which gives us about two and a half to three hours of endurance on this aircraft when we're burning 14 and a half to 15 and a half liters of fuel. So uh, nice and light. Okay, quick checks. Too many pilots flying heaven too soon. Check left, check right, check left, check right. Forward, back, left and right. Test controls, trim is set, masters on, mags on both. Fuel is good, fuel is good. Flaps, high takeoff setting at 12 degrees. Temperatures and pressures are all within the green. We have no warning lights. We can do a quick mag check. Up to 4,000 RPM. No more than 300 drop. We got 120 drop. Full idle check. And we're good to go. All right, man. Ready when you are. Let's take over the door open, are we? Yeah. All righty. 
You got a little shot there. A little bit of a shot, yeah? A little bit of a shot. A little bit of a shot. Okay, cool. Traffic in the highway airfield area. Again, a fox shot will be on the roll. Runway 3-1, left hand turn off for one circuit and then routing towards Sedgefield. Any traffic? Out there and we're up already. And now it's just about maintaining speed with a door. We'll keep it at 60. Go with a flat. Traffic in the highway area, can the Fox Rod left down and runway 31 for runway inspection and then routing towards Sedgefield. Echo India Fox Rod. Such a privilege to be up here with my dad, 73 years old, and being able to fly in two different aircrafts with each other. So cool. Dad, I'm uh, just north of the fields now, um, south of Renendal, 1,300. Okay, I'm approaching that first green patch after the Gokama Gorge. Rooting towards Renendal, Papa Victor Hotel. I got you visual, no problem, you're a mile away. In the fog, I'll come find you and say hi. Cool, I'm just gonna hold my course. Perfect. Coming up at your nine o'clock now. I've got you visual. Oh, this is lovely. Fantastic. You want to do a little breakaway to your left? Yes, can I do that? Yeah, we are filming. Beautiful. Cool, Dad. We'll see you back at highway. Yeah, boy, standing by. All right, well, since the uh, coastline is covered with this little layer of fog, we're going to jump into a quick little montage of some of the coastal flying that we've done in and around this area just to give you a little taste of uh, how beautiful it really is here. Runway 31, full stop. Okay, let's see if we can pull power completely. We'll go into a bit of a glide. We'll see if we can just put it down on the runway without any input of power. And we're coming in high. I'd rather have too much than too little for this little side slip. I still have not touched the throttle. I got my hand on the throttle and into a flare. And other than the bumpy runway, not have done that better in my opinion. I'm quite happy about that. I don't do that enough. But that was really good practice. From off radio, goodbye. Alrighty, well, we had a heck of a lot of smoke to contest with. Um, just from a fire that's happening behind the mountain here. Super, super hot the last few days. So fires are pretty common in this area. But um, I think you get the perspective of just where we are. We've shown you some previous montages from uh, some of the other flights that we've done in this little area, I mean, everything. We've got 15 minutes that way, ocean. 15 minutes that way, top of the mountains and over onto the other side. Um, islands to land on, 20 minutes from here that way. And a few friends and close landing, um, close trips as well, nearby to highway, 10 minutes that way. So it doesn't matter which way we go, we've got so much to do here. Thanks so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. We've got lots of aviation content planned. Just a huge thank you to everybody that's come over to the second channel. Uh, one of the sponsors that's really helped make this happen and allow Alex to help me do this in the mornings uh, is Cuts Clothing. So if you guys ever see me wear a hoodie, 
a jumper, some new joggers or something, um, it's very, very likely that it's going to be cut. So a huge shout out to Cuts Clothing. They link down below for 15% off using the promo code JWATNEY. Thanks guys. Ciao.